I get requests all the time to do a video on what's in my pin case or my everyday carry pins. And I've always really hesitated to do this because first of all, I don't have just one pin case. And second of all, when it comes to pins, I don't feel like I am an, like a normal person. I have to test pens and get to know pens and write descriptions about pens um, every day for my job. So I end up with, um, I think, very weird situation. And also, um, I, you know, I have access to all of these pens and I, you know, so my, my kind of like favorite pins can change pretty quickly. Um, I do have one pin in my collection that I've had for over 15 years. Not that specific pen. I always replace it. But um, th that one I think is worth noting. I, that is one that I always, always have in um, one of my pen cases. Without further explanation, I'm just going to get going. I'm going to explain what my different pen cases are for. I'll try to briefly touch on everything that's in them. So far, what you can see here is I have a pen case that I keep in my purse. I pretty quickly found out that if you uh, sell pens for a living and you're out and someone asks for a pen, you look pretty silly if you don't have a pen. So this is just a pink leather pen case with my initials. And then um, another main pen case I have is one that sits on my desk. And um, it's always stuffed like this to the point that I never zip it. I do really like this pen case. It's a Burt's Bees pen case that I got in Japan several years ago. I think it's very, very nice looking. It's very sturdy. So first I'm going to go over the pens that are in my purse um, leather pen case. So I'll just like show you kind of what it looks like in there. So I don't even know what's all in here. Um, I'll leave my B vitamins down in the bottom. <laughs> okay, so for, why don't we first talk about this pen. This is a Uniball Signo DX in Bordeaux Black. It is my absolute favorite pen. I always have a new one of these as soon as I run out. It is a pen that I started using in the year 2000, so that is 15 years ago. It's a 0.38. It used to be pretty difficult to get this Bordeaux Black color ink. There are some uh, pens that have come out like the Pilot Juice in Dark Red and the Friction Ball Slim in Wine Red that look pretty similar. I, I love this pen. I rec This is like one of the pens I give as a gift to people who have never tried a Japanese pen. I have two E-Volts in my pen case. I think I, yeah, I started by using this brown one and I liked it so much. I love it because it's a, um, it has weight in it, so it's like really comfortable and feels really elegant to use. It does have an eraser under the cap here that's hidden. It's got black and red ink plus a pencil. I actually never use the pencil part. I really like that the dots on it are actually like little squares. And I just think it's a really, really nice pen. It'd be a nice pen as a gift too. One thing that I always find curious is I feel like there are two different types of pen people. There are the pen people that keep the labels on, <laughs> and I'm one of those people. I never peel these barcode labels off. But then I think like people who are really into aesthetics even more than me will, will peel those labels off and it will probably bother them that I leave the label on. I've just always done that and I don't even think I notice them as part of the thing. <laughs> Um, so that's a really nice weighted pen that I like. I have recently been trying to get reacquainted with the Pilot Slicky because I had neglected it for a really long time. So I have three Pilot Slicky and point three in my pen case. And um, I do really like this pen. I like that it's a needle nose tip and that it comes in a lot of different colors. They have recently discontinued a lot of the cool colors, which is disappointing, kind of like High Tech C did, or Pilot did for the High Tech C. I, I really like this pen. I really like it for like, uh, in my day planner because it you know is very fine point so you can fit a lot of writing in a small space and it actually comes even finer than 0.3 it comes in 0.25 also but I choose the 0.3 this is one of my current favorites for sure I've used it so much this is the um, Jetstream Prime this one is in 0.5 but you can refill it in any you can refill it in any size with a regular um, 
Jetstream refill, you can also, what's, what some of my customers do is they buy the Jetstream color and they take the insert out of there and use it as a refill for this. This one I'll do next. This pen I got in Budapest. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's a Chinese, yeah, it's a Chinese pen. It's a 0.5, but it's needle tip, so it writes pretty finely. It's um, not a really smooth write. I just thought it was cute, and I like to get pens on vacation. I don't know if this brand would be easy to find. It's called Pattern Days. This one is an old discontinued prefill single. Zebra did a licensing with Snoopy, and they do that from time to time, and so does Mitsubishi. It does that same licensing with um, Peanuts for Snoopy from time to time. This is a pre-fill that has Sudati ink in it, I, and I really like it. It's just black, 0.5. I have a Friction Ball Slim. This one is in forest green, so the interesting thing about this is a lot of times if you get a forest green color in Japan, to me it's like a light green, whereas we, I feel like in the U.S., if we're talking about forest green, we're talking about a real deep green, but usually that'll be called deep green in um on, in Japan. So I find this a little bit odd because I think if you bought it you wouldn't be expecting this like kind of like lighter bright green. But and then for those of you who haven't seen the friction it does really erase really easily. But I love these slim pins and um, I have a bunch of them in one of my other pin cases so you'll see it again. Um, the friction highlighter um, erases just as well as the friction pen. I'm really into these lately. Um, I have these all over the place you know, just like all around my house. This pen, oh yeah, so this one I broke the clip off of, and so I have a reef, you know, a, a backup. <laughs> but this is the Sarasa Study Pen. I love this pen. I feel like it's a very underrated pen. The idea is, and actually you can see in this um, backup, the ink is at 100% when you get it, of course, and then there are markings to let you know how much of the ink you've used up. And the idea is that you set a goal. So for me, my goal is like, having to do with journaling and what I I every year I say I'm going to keep a journal and I don't so what I do is I I use the pen to ensure that I'm journaling as much as I want to and so as you use it you can see it go down 10 percent 30 percent um and eventually you use it up and then you know you've completed your goal. And so obviously the original idea was um, to use it for studying, you know, note taking and studying. And so that way you know that you've, um, you know, you make a goal and you know when you're a certain way through the goal based on how much ink you've used in your pen. I think it's just like, you know, it's a cheap little simple motivator to get. I think especially it's cute for some, like if you know someone who's studying for like a GRE or something, I think it's like a really cute little cheap, cheap gift. Um, so that, those are the pens I keep in my, like, purse pen case. And now you see why I hesitated to do this, because this really will take forever. So the pens I keep on my desk, I love, love, love the Zebra Prefill Multi Pens. These are some sparkly barrels that I just think are so pretty. This one is in rose pink. I have another one here. Um... Um, in let's see elegance violet obviously I just couldn't decide which color barrel uh, which color barrel I want to use but they are uh, really nice because you can mix all different kinds of ink in them I th I usually go for um, the Sudati I love the Sudati in purple and I go for um, Sarasa in like blue black and black and this one I have another space actually so that's one really cool thing about this pen is if you run out of ink, you actually, it's not like you need to refill it to be able to use the rest of the pen. You can just, whatever, take the insert out and you've still got plenty of ink left in it. See, I like the Surati Purple so much that you can actually see that I have it in different sizes here in the same pen. This is cool because this lets you know what color you're using. Otherwise, it'd be a bit of a mystery. It's not like the High Taxi Coletta where you have the color on the uh, slide lovers. Um, anyway, I really feel like the Zebra Prefill is a very underrated pen. I love it, love it. I probably have another one in here, I don't know. Some other pens, I do have a limited edition Coletto. This was a collaboration with Earth Music and Ecology. This would probably drive OCD people nuts because I actually have 
one of the limited edition um, inserts in here too, which has the flower. And for some reason, it doesn't bother me to just have one like that. <laughs> I think that it's just like how it doesn't bother me to have these on my pen. I'm just, I obviously do not have OCD. And uh, more of these friction, uh, you know, uh, ball spoons and the mild highlighters. I like these. I didn't really mention this before. I like these because they're pastel. They're not really bright in your face like a lot of highlighters are. I can um, show you the other one here. Uh, actually, I have one here. And yet another pin case. Okay. So they, they, the idea is that they're not supposed to be like really bold in your face highlighters. And I love that. Um, okay, so I've done all these. Oh, the High Tech C Mica. For years, I did not stock this on my store because I'd never seen it in person. And I thought it was like a mini pin. And for some reason, I just, that didn't appeal to me. Then I finally was like, okay, I, I really need to bite the bullet and order these because, you know, some of my customers might want them. And when I got it in person, it's, you know, full size. I love the um, really cool sparkly thing on the cap. It writes just like the regular high tech C. I just love, love, love them. This is a Pentel Slicky three color. The barrel is in milky blue and I really like it. It's a three color. <laughs> I obviously really like uh, custom multi pens. It's my favorite. Some people are never like even brave enough to try these, which I think is really funny. I usually don't have many pencils, but it is tax season, so I've been working on my taxes. So I use a lot of the friction erasable, erasable pens and mechanical pencils. This is a Kudu Toga, which as most of you probably know, it rotates the lead as you write. And this was a, a Kudu Toga did a collaboration with Hello Kitty. We actually still have some of these left for sale, I believe. Um, I don't know by the time you watch this video if we still will, but but we did get some. Oh, geez, so many. This is the Pilot Juice in Wine Red that I mentioned before. I just really like the shade. I love the Pilot Juice is like really juicy. It's a it's so such a smooth gel pen to write with. Um, I still prefer the Uniball Signo DX in 0.38. Maybe just because I've been using it for 15 years. This is a pen I picked up in Japan. It's a Bic, but I think it was made specifically for the Japanese market. I'm pretty sure, and it um just kind of I don't know it's it's a pretty fine point sorry it's a pretty fine point I just thought it was really pretty like pink and gold and it was really cheap I haven't seen them in the US this one I probably need to throw out this is an old Japanese pen I got at Kinokuni in San Francisco it's purple ink and it was scented I think it was scented lavender or something like that but um oh it's writing okay every once in a while it kind of like doesn't write well and so then it annoys me and i probably just need to throw it out but i really like needle nose um tips this one is the jetstream 3 and 0.5 i'm really excited actually because they finally came out with a jetstream 3 and 0.38 and so we're stocking that really soon i like really 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 fine pens this one is really fine but the 0.38 is obviously going to be even finer which is awesome um and i think it's a really pretty pen it's a multi but it's not too bulky um here's another uniball signo dx this one is in 0.5 emerald uh i can't remember why i have this maybe it was just because i wanted different color at one point i don't i don't use it much but i do think it's a pretty color this is a newish pen we have. Um, it is a kind of like a fancy friction. The eraser's under the cap here. It's meant to, it's called the Friction Ball Knock Biz, and it's obviously meant to look a little bit more, um, I picked a really bright color, but it's meant to look more professional. It comes in like silver and um, some other like really nice professional colors. There's a pretty Bordeaux and there's a champagne that's really popular. It's really what it is, is just a fancy body for the Friction Click Top. I have modded it out with a 0.4 in apricot orange. Um, the refills are not available in 0.4 except for the standard blue, black, and red. So what I do is I just take an apricot orange 0.4 um, friction point pen. I take the insert out and I and I put it in. So I just like mod the pen in that way. It's really it's 
Um, this pen can take either the 0.4 or the 0.5. Um, I do have a few more pens in here. I have the um, Petite Tashki, which is adorable. It's a really good pen to keep inside your checkbook or like a day planner pen. To be honest, I don't know why I have this in my desk pen case right now. Um, I was probably just playing around with it. This is one of my favorite pens. It actually has that same, it's probably getting pretty dry, but it also has that same kind of like wine red color ink, but it's an oil-based ink, and I find that really hard to find. This pen I got in Paris at a Korean shop. I have seen the antenna shop with other stuff for sale, but I've never, I have never seen this pen again, but I really, really love it. I hope it lasts a while longer for me. I use it as a day planner pen too because it's so fine pointed and it's such a pretty color. This pen I got in Sweden. I think this is like a really common brand in Sweden. It's Ballograph, which is probably just how they say ball pen. Ball pen. Epoca? E-P-O-C-A. Epoca? I don't know. Sweden. The only thing is that it's kind of a thicker ball. Like I bet this is a 1.0, which is really not totally my cup of tea, but it is really smooth and writes really well. And I got this at a shop in, um, where was I in Sweden? I can't even remember the town, the town where I got this pin, but anyway, <laughs> it was a quick trip. I was visiting my Swedish friend. Okay. And this is the Wine Red, High Tech C in 0.5. And it is a discontinued pen. But, um, you know, can you tell I really like this color of ink? Okay, so, unfortunately I'm not done yet, but I'm almost done. So I have another pen case inside my Midori, and I can do a whole nother video on what's in my Midori. I'm, first I have to film a how-to so that people understand how to use the Midori. Here's that friction mild highlighter again. Um, another pre-fill. This is an, I do a lot of limited edition barrels in the pre-fill. This one was like part of a, you know, like famous cityscapes that they had. I don't think we have any more of these left, but this is the New York um, landscape here. And again, you can see like how much I like this um, Sudati purple. Um, okay, so. This is my pen case and some of my Dory. It's a zip case. And even though it's pretty flat, it, um, it like fits a lot. Especially I keep a lot of these ball slims. And this is my favorite pen to use inside my Midori. Not for my inserts that I wanna like really keep forever, like journals, for my for my day planner and for my, like, oh, I keep track of foods I'm eating. This, I feel like, is really good for a food journal because sometimes, you know, you guess the calories, you write it down, and then you go back, you realize, like, oh, I'm wrong because you actually look at the package and then you need to erase all the time in a food journal. So I really love these and I like the bright colors. Here's another Friction Mild Highlighter. These come in three sets and six sets. Yeah, obviously I just really like them. <laughs> I have another Friction Ball Slim. I have a lot of different paper clips. I have some really skinny Japanese washi tape. I have Friction Erasable Stamp. This one's in yoga, and so I just use it in my day planner on days I have yoga. And um, we are going to sell these really soon, so um, you'll be seeing those on the store. They erase just like the pens. I don't know if you guys care about non-pen things. I have all kinds of Midori clips in my pen case. These are the P51 clips that are 51% paper. Um, they're meant to be like marshmallowy looking colors. I really like them. And, and they're really strong, they work really well. I've got some of the Sakura, the Heart, D-clips. These airplane clips, um, were a gift from a, someone I met um, on the internet. <laughs> Let's see, these are more, oh yeah, this is the index clips. These are also um, made out of paper. I think that's all here. I use these clips to mark pages in my Midori, so that's why they're in here. 
I have some of the Midori uh, silicone elastics in here. I have a post-it with a email that I need to blurb out because that's not fair to share people's email on YouTube. <laughs> and then I don't, oh yeah, my mom bought a pen for me, so she, <laughs> she gave me some cash. Yeah, so that is what is inside my Midori. Luckily, we're almost to the end. I do keep another pen case on my desk that normally what's inside it is uh, pens that we're either thinking about selling or pens that I've been getting questions about that I realize I don't really know the answer. So it's like pens I need to get to know better. Right now I have a couple pens in here that we're adding to our store. This one is the Midori Brass ballpoint pen. I am pretty sure that they use Oto for the inserts because the refill has, see how it says refill number 705 NP? That is an Oto number. So if you really like the Oto Tashki, then you would like this pen for your Midori. This is the Pentel Kirati. And it is a gorgeous brush pen for practicing calligraphy. And so I needed to get that out. The ink insert isn't in it yet, but I need to get it out and play with it and um, make sure I love it. Yeah, it's exciting because I also plan on translating some of these brochures we have that are only in Japanese. I think that that would be really helpful to people. But you can see how this pen writes. And it comes with two refills here. Cool. All right. Well, those are my current pen cases that I have going. Uh, be sure and let me know if you have any questions. I'm always excited to see what is in your pen case. So make sure to share that with me. Send me a video of what's in your pen case. If um, you want, I would love to watch it. Thanks so much.